Hi guys, today I'm gonna be filming a day in the life with a NICU baby. And if you guys didn't know, our daughter Quinn was born at 33 weeks and four days, and today she turned 35 weeks and one day. I'm gonna do a whole birth story vlog or video um, if you wanna know like more about the details and why she was born early and everything, but right now I'm trying to beat the clock, which has been our life the past like two weeks. Um, her feeding time is at eight, and it's like 8.05 and I'm supposed to let them know if I'm coming up for the feeding or if I don't let them know, just get there 15 minutes early and they're super nice, like they don't care if I show up a little late, but I do try to like respect that it's easier for them if they know ahead of time. I woke up at seven to pump, took a shower, got ready. I have a little blanket for her and some milk and I'm gonna go up and um, be there for her feeding. We always have to wash our hands with this little sanitizer thing. And they have cell phone wipes and then the guests like if my family comes or anyone they have to wear these big blue like they literally look like blue trash bag things <laughs> but since eric and i are the parents we don't have to wear them It's a little after nine now, I'm going back to the room. I need to eat breakfast. The blood pressure medicine they have me on makes me feel so weird. I'm back in my room, in my beautiful hospital bed. Um, so we're staying in the hospital's hospitality program, which basically is just, since our baby's in the NICU, we can stay here for free as long as they have empty rooms so that we don't have to drive back and forth and we can come and go as many times as we want during the day, um, but we just have to sleep here at night, which <laughs> that's the hard part about it. It's so nice having this room during the day, like so nice. Sleeping here at night is not nice. Like the nurses are so loud. Well, they haven't been every night, but last night especially, they were like laughing so loud at who knows what. It seemed like the entire night and just like walking up and down the hallway talking or maybe it wasn't even the nurses, I don't know, but I think it was because our room is like right outside the nurse's station. So anyway, also the bed is super uncomfortable. I'm not gonna complain about it because some people don't even have a bed and would probably love to sleep in this bed, but yeah, I miss my bed. So I only ate like two or three strawberries before I went up with Quinn and I'm pretty hungry now because it's past nine, it's like 9.25. So I'm gonna have some strawberries and an orange and then I have some crackers and a little cheese stick thing. Eric and I went to Target yesterday and just got a bunch of like little snack type things and I got some fruit because I really don't wanna like go eat the cafeteria food. Oh, and today is Eric's first day back at work. So this is actually like my first day by myself here. Um, I do have my doctor's appointment at 1.30, I think. It might be at 12.30, so I'm actually about to call and see because my brain is an actual pile of mush. <laughs> it's just been so busy. So I can't remember if I made my appointment for 12.30 or 1.30. I think it's at 1.30 and I hope it is because that would work out so much better with like my pumping schedule and Quinn's eating schedule, which I like to be up there when she eats so that she's out of the crib or it's technically called an isolate. I also got a giant cup of ice water. I drink like a few of these a day and then we have water bottles in here too, but they have really good ice in their ice machine. It's like the Chick-fil-A ice. If you know what I'm talking about, comment below. Chick-fil-A has good ice. Actually, I did wanna read what my schedule is for today just so you get an idea of like what's going on. So I started this, I made this like very detailed schedule um, for myself today since Eric wouldn't be here because I've just honestly just been relying on him because my brain is like fried. And as I was saying, the blood pressure medicine they put me on just makes me weird. And I'm really glad I have an appointment today because I want to ask if I can like go on something else or take less or I don't know. It just makes me feel weird. So I started my schedule at 7 a.m. So 7 was pump and take my medicine. 8 o'clock was Quinn's feeding time. 9 o'clock was... Um, come back and eat my breakfast, call the doctor and <laughs> make sure my appointment's at 1.30, make an appointment with the cardiologist, which I was supposed to do last week and ran out of time slash forgot, whatever. Um, 10 o'clock, pump again. 11 is Quinn's feeding, so I'll go back up for that. 12.45, pump. At 1, my mom is coming, and then um, I think at 1.15 we'll leave if my appointment's at 1.30, and she's going to take me because I still can't drive for like another week or so. Then at 3, I need to take my medicine again. At 4, pump, and then hopefully Eric will get here sometime around 5-ish um, after he's done with work and goes home and gets 
all the stuff he needs. And then at six, my dad is coming and bringing us dinner. And then after that, I'm sure Eric and I will go up for like Quinn's eight o'clock feeding maybe, or I don't know, but there are just not enough hours in the day, but it's all worth it because obviously Quinn is worth all of this, obviously. <laughs> Hopefully there's no food in my teeth. I just finished eating all my stuff and I called the doctor's office. I called the cardiologist. Feels like I've been sitting here for five minutes, but somehow it's been longer because it's already 10 o'clock and I need to pump again. This is the hospital pump. It's not mine, but we did order one that's at my house. Funny story though, that's actually not funny. Um, when I had Quinn, I went straight to the ICU after that for three days and the lactation lady came to bring me this pump. And basically there's like, speed, suction, and then the timer so you can see how long you've been pumping. And she set the settings herself when she got there. She was like, leave the speed on 80, leave the suction on 61, don't touch them, and then pump for 15 minutes. So we're like, okay, like, I've never pumped before, ever. So obviously I'm gonna trust this lactation lady. Anyway, 61 was like torture, which I didn't even know until like a couple days in, I literally like, it was so painful, I couldn't even keep pumping. So another lady from lactation came in and she's like, I heard you were having problems and stuff. And I was like, yeah, it's just like super sensitive and like literally almost bleeding. Sorry if that's TMI, but, and she's like, well, what do you have the settings on? And we told her and she's like, oh no, like just put it at whatever you're comfortable with. So since I was literally in so much pain, I was just comfortable with 11%. And everyone we've talked to since then is like, why did she tell you to literally put the suction on 61? Like, especially my first time pumping ever. Eric and I think it's because she was just upset that she had to walk all the way to the ICU because it's a long walk from where she would normally be in like the mother baby and labor and delivery area. I also thought I should add that I don't have it at 11% anymore. I did turn it up higher, but like for days, I just left it at 11. Just finished pumping and cleaning the pump and I'm done with that for now. Um, it's 10.35 now so at 11 I need to go back up for Quinn's feeding actually I'm supposed to be there earlier than 11 her feeding therapist is actually gonna be there she was up there when I went up at 8 and said that she would be working with her at 11 for her feeding so it's actually a speech therapist that's what the lady is but for the NICU babies it's like a feeding therapist because when they're born so young a lot of times they haven't developed the like the skills it takes to suck so Quinn's actually doing super well. She's taken a bottle two or three times now. Um, and yesterday she actually took a bottle for me, which was really nice. She didn't take the whole thing, so they put the rest of it in her feeding tube, but I know she took the whole bottle once or twice for the feeding therapist. So the lady is super nice and I'm kind of excited for this because I really want her to be able to take her bottle. That's like one of the things that she has to do before she can leave and go home. So it's a big deal. So. I only have like 10 minutes or 15 minutes now, but I'm having one more snack. These are called burritos. <laughs> They're from Whole Foods. That's the only place I ever get them from. I don't like grocery shop at Whole Foods, but Eric and I love their pizza from like their little pizza bar thing. And every time we go, I get a bag of these too. They're just like little cheddar puffs, but they're so good. So I have 10 minutes before I need to go up for Quinn's 11 o'clock feeding and I decided I'm gonna put together these two little gift baskets that I've been meaning to do. I'm making one basket for the labor and delivery floor nurses, which is where I was when I first came into the hospital and I was there for either two or three days. And then one is for the ICU nurses, um, particularly two of them, but I'm just gonna give it to all of them in case there's someone that I'm forgetting. The nurses have just been so incredibly like sweet and helpful and everything, especially on the labor and delivery floor, which is where I was when I first came in for like two or three days. And then also the ICU nurses. And then also the NICU nurses are super nice, but I think I'll do something for them like before we leave and take Quinn home instead of now, cause I mean, she's still gonna be here for a few weeks. There are definitely like particular nurses that I wish I could do stuff for. I'm gonna put a thank you card and I wish I could like name people by name, but I'm so scared that I would leave somebody out and there were so many nice ones. I didn't wanna take it up on a weekend because when I was in the labor and delivery floor, why is that so hard for me to say? It was like a Monday through a Wednesday. So I'm hoping that, today is Monday, I'm hoping that it'll be like the same shift of people. Um, but we'll see. I just got back from Quinn's 11 o'clock feeding and 
it went okay she took some of it but not all of it so they ended up putting the rest through the tube but my mom's actually up there holding her now she got there a few minutes ago and she brought me a sandwich and i'm really excited to eat it except that the blood pressure medicine makes me so weak it's hard to even chew sometimes so i'm excited for the sandwich though um, and then my mom's gonna take me to my doctor's appointment after that. My mom picked me up and we just pulled up to my doctor's appointment. It's kind of weird being here because last time I was here, I was still pregnant and got sent to the hospital. So, and then had the baby. So I haven't been back here since then. But I think she's just gonna look at my incision and stuff and just make sure everything's fine. I'll update you either in there or when we're done. I just got back to my room. My mom is parking the car right now, but that appointment took for ever like the actual appointment is so short but the waiting is just so long anyway um basically my blood pressure is way too low now and i don't think i mentioned this in this video but the reason my daughter was born so early is because i had preeclampsia and my blood pressure was super high along with a bunch of other stuff but now it's way too low because i think they probably have me on too high of a dose of medicine for it. Anyway, she said to call them and see if I can either skip a dose or take less of the dose or something, which that would be great. I think I'm gonna finish up these gift baskets and then I'll probably pump. Eric is officially back from work, so we're about to go see Quinn. She's eating at five. Hopefully they don't start it early because when I went up earlier, they started it early and she was eating through her tube in her little isolate. I'm also at that point of the day where I just feel like I could sleep for a year. I'm so wiped right now, but it's about to be five o'clock. At six o'clock, my dad's bringing dinner. At seven o'clock, I have to pump. At eight o'clock, she's eating, Quinn is eating again. So we're going up for skin to skin, and that usually takes like two hours, and then I'll have to pump again. So I'm probably not sleeping till like 11, but that's okay. <laughs> I finished my two gift baskets. This one is going to the labor and delivery nurses. I would get closer, but I don't feel like getting out of the bed right now. But I wrote them a little thank you card and I'm putting this picture in it, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, it's the same picture that I posted, just so they know who we are if they don't remember our names that I put in the card. So it's like 5.20, I'm gonna take this up to them right now. I just took the gift basket up to the labor and delivery nurses and... I'm so oh. sorry, I did not okay. even recognize you. Oh. Was like when they took the picture of the baby out, I was like, that's her? Really? I Yes, so I was there the night you got sectioned and I literally was oh, like... For real? Yes, and so when I saw the picture of your husband is when I was like, that's her? You are so sick. <laughs> So I just wanted That's to funny. say, like, thank you and hug you because I, I didn't even realize that it was you when you were just up there. I was like, oh my gosh, how are you? I'm good. I was, like, so worried about you that Aww. night. Oh my gosh, I was in the nurse's station, like, for hours. I was working in the OBD, and so, but I was, like, catching everything, and you just got sick so fast, you really? know? Yes, and so I remember, like, just being so worried about, like, I remember his face. Like, he had it, like, all over his face. I was like, are you okay? You know, you probably had so much going on, but... Yeah, and even like the days after, I was like following you because I was like, oh my God, this poor, you know. Aww. But yeah, you just look so different up there. I was like, when they pulled out the picture, I saw your husband. I was like, wait, that's her? That's like, that's the girl that's in three? That's so funny. Yeah, so I'm like, I went downstairs. I thought you left because I was just going to be like, hey, I'm so sorry. But Aww. how's the baby? She's really good. Is she? Yeah, yeah, I literally just came and told him I didn't recognize anybody, Aww. so. Yeah, so I was hoping there'd be more people up there that I recognized. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, like you just, you could tell you were really sick and you were very pale and like, yeah. Well, I just can't even believe any of it happened, honestly. Yeah, so people like you, man, you get sick fast. And it's yeah. really nothing that you did, it's just your body. I um, literally thought I'd be sitting there for seven weeks. I was like, there is nothing wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, and then when you got sick, you were sick, you know, like that pain was your... Yeah. Know, so thank God you're okay. The next time that you get pregnant in the future, you're high risk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least I know now. <laughs> at least we all do. But, yeah. you know, then you just monitor, that's all. And yeah. And it could happen again, it could not, but you, because you, you know, went through that experience. It's not it's often so nice. that you get that sick, so you... What happened with you? Did they explain it to you? And into help syndrome? Did they yeah. kind of explain that to you? So, um, long story short, without using a bunch of medical terms, you were preeclamptic, and then 
your body started to <coughs> shut down from the preeclampsia, and sometimes when that happens, it happens really quickly. Um, so in my five years I've been here, I've only had three patients of my own that actually that, that has happened to. Really? Most of them being very young, healthy, no complications so in their weird. pregnancy. Yeah, and getting really sick fast like that. Um, so it's so scary for all of us because, I mean, you know, we care for you guys and then all of a sudden it just kind of happens out of nowhere. And it's yeah. Kind of like a race against time. I don't know if you guys heard any of that. Well, actually, I'm going to put some of it in because I was just saying that there were no nurses that I recognized up there and then a nurse came down and she was someone that I just gave the basket to and said she didn't even recognize me. Um, but she was working the night that I had the C-section and like everything went down and apparently I looked a lot different. <laughs> I don't know what I looked like because I was just in a lot of pain. My dad just came and brought us dinner. It's like a little after six. He brought us a barbecue feast, literally. I don't even remember the last time I had barbecue ribs. Yeah, do I. It's been forever, but it smells so good. And there's like a hundred different flavors of barbecue sauce. We have some fries in here. She's actually taken some of her bottle, which is good. Say hi. We're doing skin to skin now. We call it kangarooing. I forget why. There was some reason, but this is like my favorite part of the day. Well, it's like that's the pouch, and that's the what? The, the mom? The Joey? Oh, Wait, oh she's her? the Joey. Yeah. yeah. It is 9.30 now, and we just got back up to our room. Um, holding Quinn and doing skin to skin is my favorite part of the day. It is just, I don't know, I just love it. And apparently she loves it too. She always seems super happy and content, and according to like everyone, skin to skin is like the best thing for your baby. Eric and I are both so exhausted. He has to be up super early for work in the morning, and I'm gonna be getting up multiple times in the night for pumping and then I'll probably wake up at seven because I pump then and I don't know. I don't see the point in going back to sleep when I have so much stuff to do. I might try to edit a little bit. I have had like no time to edit and I have so many videos like backing up just because I have no time to edit. So I might try to edit a little bit. I might fall asleep. I really don't know. I think that's all I'm gonna show of my day with the baby in the NICU. Oh, I also forgot to mention that at my doctor's appointment, um, she said that my incision is looking really good and it still had like the little clearish strips of tape on it, like going all the way across like Frankenstein. So she took all of those off and she basically just gave me, gave me instructions on how to take care of it from here on out. And yeah, so that's good news. I think that's everything. I will see you guys very soon, hopefully, with another video. Bye, guys.